them, like the judgment that came upon us, mm -hmm. the righteous and the wicked, right? Mm -hmm. So when they hear the judgment coming upon them, they start crying, oh no, they want to bring in their secular worldly church doctrine mm -hmm. on us. You see what I'm saying? But it's not written. Mm -hmm. You only go so long and poof, it's done. Finish. We can go all day. You know what I mean? That's one thing we can do. Go all day on Esau, right? But <laughs> it's no doubt. I mean, it's like it is, it's right there. So Esau cried, Oh, no, 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 Isaac, no, Isaac, my father. Don't you have one blessing for me? Read on. And said unto his father, Bless me, even me also, my father. He said, Bless me, even me, my father. Go ahead. And he said, Thy brother came with subtlety and had taken away thy blessing. So your brother came with subtlety. Subtlety. You came in here subtile. And have taken thy blessing. Taken your blessing. But, I mean, verse 32 of Genesis 25. This is 25 verse 32. Read verse 31, 32. One. And Jacob said, Sell me this day thy birthright. And Esau said, Behold, I am at the point to die. What and what profit shall this birthright do to me? Yeah, so what profit is birthright gonna do to me? I'm hungry. That's how much he thought of the birthright. Read. What we're reading about now. Read. And Jacob said, Swear to me this day. And he swore unto him, and he sold his birthright unto Jacob. Then Jacob gave Esau bread and pottage of lentils, and he did eat and drink, and rose up and went his way. Thus Esau despised his birthright. Right, so Esau despised his birthright. He sold his birthright already. So now how it comes to be that Esau despised his birthright, now his birthright, which he sold, to Jacob for some red meat that's in lentil soup. You know what I mean? Here it is, it's being fulfilled before our eyes as we're looking at our story. And he's crying. But he already he already rejected it. Mm -hmm. He rejected it, right? Right. For just being hungry. That's how much he thought of it. But here it is now, he done come back, oh. It belongs to me. How it belongs to him? So he thought he, he thinking he gonna play Jacob. Huh. But he got played in a real way. The most I already said in the spirit what's gonna happen. You can't stop that. How he does it, remember his ways and thoughts are not our ways and thoughts. How he does it is how he gonna do it. It had to happen. And here it is happening. Read. Back in uh, Genesis 27. For 36. And he said, Is not he rightly named Jacob? Is not he rightly named Jacob? Read. Really? For he has supplanted me these two times. See, there it is. <laughs> Yaiqua. <laughs> supplanted. He said, He has supplanted me these two times. Read. Really? He took away my birthright. He took away my birthright. He took away my birthright. Did he take away his birthright? No. Did he take away his birthright? No. No. La'a. La'a. He did not take away his birthright. Read. And behold, now he hath taken away my blessing. That's the birthright. Mm -hmm. Right? Right. Sure. That's why Psalm 58 and 3. Mm -hmm. I remember this. It said he despised his birthright. Psalms chapter 58 and verse 3. The wicked are estranged from the womb. See, the wicked are estranged from the womb. Read. They go astray as soon as they be born. They go astray when? As soon as they be born. As soon as they be born. Doing what? Speaking lies. Speaking lies, man. As soon as they be born, they go astray speaking lies. So who the wicked? Job 9.24. It's clear. Job chapter 9 verse 24. Mm -hmm. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. The earth is given to the hand of the wicked. Read. 
He covered the faces of the judges thereof. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. They go to Most High that he got in his Bible. That's who? Himself. Old looking white dude. <laughs> Butt naked. Ain't nobody. What's <laughs> saying? <laughs> Butt naked with a little, little <laughs> sheet over his private. Come on, man. That's mockery. Right. Good. That's mockery. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. I mean, come on. There he is right there. There he is right there. All in the Bible. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. There he is right there, playing like he's getting crucified, get ready to get crucified. And even his movies today, right? I mean, is it any different here? This Bible was written a long time ago, right? Huh. Then now. Same thing, man. You cover the faces of the judges there, read. If not, where and who is he? If not, where and who is he? If he ain't the wicked. So now, let's go back to Esau. This is 27. 36. Uh, and he said, Hast thou now reserved the blessing for me? And Isaac, Where you at? Uh, and 36. Read it from the beginning. Oh. And he said, Is not he rightly named Jacob? Is, right, is not he rightly named Jacob? Read. For he has supplanted <laughs> me these two times. He has supplanted me these two times. Read. He took away my birthright. And behold, now he had taken away my blessing. So now he despises his birthright. So how are you gonna say that Jacob did anything wrong when he said, hey man, sell me this day your birthright? Say, man, this birthright don't mean nothing to me. I'm hungry. But now that it's the time to fulfill him receiving the birthright and the blessing, now he's saying that Jacob did something wrong. See this? You see how the spirit is? Speaking lies. Yeah, speaking lies. Go ahead. And he said, Hast thou not reserved, reserved the blessing for me? And Isaac answered and said unto Esau, Behold, I have made him thy power. Listen, he made, he said, I have made him your Lord or your power, the power that's going to be over you. Remember what it said. The what? Shall serve the younger. Yeah. The elder, the firstborn, shall serve the younger. So, this is how it has to go down, regardless of how we look at it. Khan? 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 Khan. Read. Behold, I have made him thy master, and all his brethren have I given to him for servants. And with corn and wine have I sustained him. And what shall I do now unto thee, my son? He said, hey man, I done blessed him, man. Corn and wine. I have given all his brethren to be servants. That's where it's supposed to be. All these days are supposed to be servants under us. And that's going to happen, as we just read in Isaiah 14, 1 to 3. Con? Uh -huh. Yeah. Go ahead. And Esau said unto his father, Hast thou but one blessing, my father? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Bless me, even me, also, O my father. And Esau lifted up his voice and wept. He felt like the crying gonna get him in there. Oh, please, you have one blessing for me. My father, bless me, even me also, my father. And Esau lifted up his voice and started crying. But listen to the blessing that he's gonna get, read. And Isaac, his father, answered and said unto him, Behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth. This is, his, this is his blessing. As you can see, man, he's everywhere. The fatness of the earth. Read. And of the dew of heaven from above. And of the dew of heaven from above, man. The fatness of the earth, man. And he's fulfilling it right now. He's everywhere. And he's in, his influence is everywhere. Of how he is. Read. All over the world. Read. Verse 40. And by the sword shalt thou live. And by thy sword shalt thou live. His military. That's his might. He lived by the gun. He lived by the sword. By the sword shall you live. He did not ask who killed more than him. What people killed more than him? They're talking about the Arabs or Esau. Who, what, what people live by the sword more than him? Not if he left them alone, they'd probably be messing with him, right? Huh. We messing with him like they messing with him now. 
He said, by the sword shall he live. You know, read. And shall serve thy brother. And shall serve thy brother. You're going to be a servant to your brother. Read. And it shall come to pass, when thou shalt have the dominion, that thou shalt break his yoke from off thy neck. And that happened when they came out of Caucasus Mountains. And started to take down the known Israelites that was ruling in the Byzantine Empire. And here we are in 1492 to now. He broke his yoke from off his own neck and put that yoke on our neck. You see? Which is contrary to the way it's supposed to be. That's why when it, when Mashiach come back to set righteousness on this earth, they all these nations are gonna be a servant to the Israelites. Because the most high made the whole world for our sake. You see? Read. Verse 41. And Esau hated Jacob. Wait a minute, listen at this closely. What did it say? And Esau hated Jacob. Esau hated Jacob, read. Because of the blessing. Because of the blessing, read. Wherewith his father blessed him. Wherewith Isaac had blessed the children of Israel. Twelve tribes of Israel, read. And Esau said in his heart, the days of mourning for my father are at hand. Say so the days of mourning for my father are at hand, because it's because Isaac is dying, read. Then will I slay my brother Jacob. He said, then will I kill my brother Jacob. That's a vow he made. He was weeping and crying, sad as ever. Right? Mourning. Huh. But in his heart was what? Vengeance. Mm -hmm. You're seeing it right here. Huh. That vow he made. Now when he met Jacob, he didn't fulfill it when he met him. But here's the vow that he made. And it's being fulfilled on us right now. You see it. You say, once I finish mourning for my father J Isaac, then I'm going to kill my brother Jacob. Ezekiel 35 and 1. Ezekiel chapter 35 and verse 1. Moreover, the word of the Most High came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir and prophesy against it. Right, so it say, set thy face against Mount Seir. That's mountain. We see mountain. I mean mountain. Mountain Seir. So, if you talk to the land, what's that going to do? Nothing. Nothing. Let's talk about the people that's on the land. So let's get that in Genesis. Now we want to read uh, verse 1 first. 36 and 1. Genesis 36 and 1. Genesis chapter 36 and verse 1. Now these are the generations of Esau. Now these are the generations of who? Of Esau. Of Esau. Read. Who is Edom? Who is Edom? So Edom means red. Because what did he sell his birthright for? The red meat. Hmm? The red meat. Red meat. Come. That's what's significant. That's what it said in Hebrews 12 and 16. Verse 8. Verse 8. Thus dwelt Esau in Mount Seir. So Esau dwelt where? In Mount Seir. In Mount Seir. Read. Esau is Edom. So Esau became a nation, and they call them Edomites. Like we Israelites, Israel, and lights of ites on the end, huh. they're Edomites. You see what I'm saying? The ites on the end of Edom. So Esau dwelt in Mount Seir. So he's talking to the Edomites, the, the indigenous so-called Caucasian people. You see what I'm saying? Because all so-called white people are not necessarily Esau. Huh. But be white now, you're right, so... Even if they are or aren't, they still gonna pretend like they are to receive the benefits because it's Esau world. You see what I'm saying? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And they're gonna pay for that too. Uh -huh. You know, so they better enjoy it. You know, cause it's got something for them too in Isaiah 13 and 15. Go ahead. Back to uh, Ezekiel 35. So it's talking to the so-called white people, indigenous, I might say. Because some people, some of them that look like that, they, they just see the Gehazi too, you know that. 
I mean, he, he cursed his seed to be leprous forever. So, and some are not necessarily, that's why I say we ain't dealing with appearance. That spirit gonna reveal who it is. Straight up, you see? It's not about, it ain't about to get the way you look. It's about that spirit that's in them. And somewhat how they look, because some of them are red and hairy all over, like a hairy garment to this day, you see what I'm saying? But we ain't, we can't go by that. We gotta go by the spirit. Spirit gonna reveal who it is. Whether you Israel, or you a stranger of another nation, or you someone of anti mashiach anti-Most High, period. What difference do it make who you are? If you ain't for the Most High. Right. If you ain't for a Mashiach Yahweh Shai. Mm -hmm. Khan? Oh, yeah, go ahead. Verse 5. Verse 5. Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred. This is Ezekiel 35 and 5. Call it out, uh. Ezekiel chapter 35, verse 5. Khan. Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred and hast shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity. In the time that their iniquity had an end. You know? Because they have had a perpetual hatred. Because Esau vowed to slay his brother Jacob once he buried their bro their father. Because we're, we're fraternal twin brothers. Mm -hmm. Isaac. And here it is, he said, because y'all have a perpetual hatred, man. And have shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity, in the time that their iniquity had an end. The judgment. Read. Therefore, as I, as I live. And the Most High live forever and ever and ever. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Save the Most High power. Mm -hmm. Will I prepare thee unto blood? You're going to prepare them unto blood. Read. And blood shall pursue thee. Say, blood shall pursue them. Read. Since thou hast not hated blood. They ain't hated blood because they kill everybody. They don't kill everybody. Read. Even blood shall pursue thee. Even blood shall pursue them. Read. Thus will I make Mount Seir most desolate. So we say you're going to make wherever they are what? Most desolate. Most desolate. Read. And cut off from it him that passeth out and him that returneth. Him that passes out and him that returneth. That's why when you go to... Uh, Malachi 1 and 1. Malachi chapter 1 and verse 1. The burden of the word of the Most High to Israel by Malachi. I have loved you, saith the Most High. So this is to Israel from our prophet Malachi. He said, I love you. Most High saying, read. I have loved you, saith the Most High. Yet ye say, where hast thou loved us? So, Israel saying, where have you loved us? Read. Was not Esau Jacob's brother? Was not Esau Jacob's brother? Right. Esau had a perpetual hatred. A perpetual hatred. And shed the blood of the children of Israel in the time of the calamity, man. It had an end. So it was not Esau Jacob's brother? Our fraternal twin brother who we've been reading about from him. Genesis 25th chapter, 25th verse on down. Read. Say the Most High, yet I love Jacob. Here he said, yet I love Jacob. Read. And I hated Esau. He said, I hated Esau. Read. And laid his mountains and his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. Right. Where you come from? His last position of dwelling or habitation was where? Caucasus Mountains. Caucasus Mountains, between the Black Sea and the Caspian Sea, in South Georgia, Russia. Mm -hmm. So he said he led us mountains that his head is waste for the dragons of the wilderness. Read. Whereas Edom saith, we are impoverished. So we are impoverished, because they were in the Caucasus Mountains. Read. But we will, we will return and build the desolate places. They said we will return, they got to return from where? From being in the Caucasus Mountains. Mm -hmm. You know, up there without any plates and forks and spoons. You know, there's a book called The Thirteenth Tribe by Arthur Coastler. There's a lot of books out. But that one says that they kept their clothes on it they, when they were running through the Coastal Mountains until they melted off of their body, disintegrated off their bodies. And there are stories that I remember in school 
where they were saying that they didn't take a bath but once at the most twice a year against their way even bathe king take off his armor his clothes had maggots and all kind of things all arms and everything all under it. that's in their story hmm. you know because really you look at it, the moors kind of taught them who are israelites how to bathe and how to you know during to take care of themselves and when they came out of Cosmo, they conquered and they took on the identity of the people that they conquered, as it was when they came here, right? Huh. Huh. Y'all don't see cowboys in Indian movies, and huh. <laughs> it's them huh. playing both sides of the fence, right? Mm -hmm. So they came here, and we taught them how we are, and how to cultivate the land, how to live. They killed us. That's what it's saying, read. Right? But we will return and build the desolate places, thus say the Most High of hosts. They shall build, but I will throw down. And they shall call them the border of wickedness. And the people against whom the Most High hath the indignation forever. Yeah, they say, hey, I'm calling the border of wickedness. And the people whom the Most High hath indignation. How long? Forever. Forever, man. Forever. Ain't no way you can stop this. Get uh go to uh Jeremiah 49 and 14. Jeremiah chapter 49, verse 14. I have heard a rumor from the most high, and an ambassador is sent unto the heathen, saying Gather ye together and come up against her and rise up to the battle. Yeah, this is Gamal Nassau, man. When the the, the so-called white man gonna send them so-called Edomite Jews over there to take over the land of Israel. He rose up again and said, the Jews, the Israelites left here black. I will not accept you coming back here white. And you went to war with them, read. For lo. I will make thee small among the heathen, and despot and despised among men. So you're gonna make them small among the heathen, and despised among men. I mean, you look at the soccer games. You ever seen soccer games when America goes to play their soccer games? Uh -huh. Would the crowd be be screaming? Mm -hmm. Go home, great Satan! Y'all heard that before? No, I no? heard that. Yeah, man, that's what they be saying, man. Years ago, that's all. That's what they used to scream, man. Go home, great Satan. They know about them, man. Go ahead. Verse 16. It'll tell you how those that are that he trusted in gonna uh they gonna mock him. You see what I'm saying? We well, thinking they're their friends, but they just pretend to go. You look at all the people that really he had destroyed or had something against and brought forth who bombs people. Who don't do that bomb people? Yeah. They're the only ones that bomb, drop bombs from the sky on people. They the great Lucifer that you read about in this Bible that make the earth to shake. See what I'm saying? They dropped that atomic bomb on Nagasaki and Hiroshima and Japan. Still, I mean, look how many bombs they dropped in Vietnam, Iraq, Afghanistan, anybody else. I mean, they, they, they just deal with the dark nation. They don't drop them on themselves. But oh, there's a change coming. When you read Ezekiel 38, Russia. I don't have that power, man. You see how he's kind of like not really, you know, liking America right now. Like never before. Read on. Verse 
16. Thy terribleness hath deceived thee, and the pride of thine heart. O oh, that dwellest in the clefts of the rock. There it is, right? Oh, that who? That dwellest in the clefts of the rock. That dwelleth in the cleft of the rock, man. Get a, get a back of two. Read verse 8. Habakkuk 2, verse 8. Because thou hast spoiled many nations. Because they spoiled many nations, man. Robbed many nations. Read. All the remnant of the people shall spoil thee. All the remnant of the people that's left going to rob them. Read. Because of men's blood. Because of men's blood. I mean, who shed more blood than them? No one. No one, man. Huh? Look at all the blood of just the Israelites that was shed. That's like kill. That our blood is screaming out to the Most High. That the Most High hear us crying unto Him. Just Israelites. And they drop bombs on people. They kill a lot of people in, in war. When the elites fighting on both sides. They, they supply the, 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 the monies on both sides. War is about money. That's it. Can't know about no lies because of men's blood that they have shed, read. Because of men's blood and for the violence of the land. And for the violence of the land, read. Of the city. Of the city, read. And of all that dwell therein. And all that dwell therein. Hmm. Read Go ahead back where you was at. Jeremiah chapter 49, verse 16. Thy terribleness hath deceived thee. See, that terribleness hath deceived them. Read. And the pride of thine heart. And the pride of their mind, read. O that dwellest in the clefts of the rock. Come on now. O that what? That dwelleth in the clefts of the rocks. Oh, that dwelleth in the clefts of the rocks. Who dwell in clefts of the rock? Caves. Esau. Huh. The Edomites. So called white people. In the Caucasus Mountains. Read. That holdest the height of the hill. Though, though thou shouldest make thy nest as high as the eagle. Though thou make thy nest as high as the eagle. High rise buildings everywhere. Read. I will bring thee down from thence, saith the Most High. Most High say you're going to bring them down. Though they have a space station in the sky and jets and flying saucers and all that, because the Germans could do that. So they got the scientists from the Germans once the World War II was over. So that's why I say when you look at certain things, phenomenals in the sky, necessarily they're not, you know, from the Most High. These are things that are prepared to fight. The angels when they come, you see? But we know the end result. Let's read. Verse 17. Also Edom shall be a desolation. See, wherever they at gonna be a desolation, read. Everyone that goeth by it shall be astonished and shall hiss at the plagues thereof. That's right, they're gonna hiss at the plagues that he's gonna bring upon us. That's why the most I say, come out of her, my people. Read our Revelation 18 and 4. Hold that. Revelations chapter 18 and verse 4. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people. So that's what we got to come out of the mindset of the way they have everybody thinking, being brain polluted. You know, not thinking on the Most High's ways, His law, statutes, commandments, His rules and regulations. Read. That ye be not partakers of her sins. That ye be not partakers of her sins. Sin is the transgression of the Most High's laws. That you're not breaking the Most High's laws as they are. Read. And that you receive not of her plagues. So you don't receive the plagues that he says he's going to bring upon her. See? And it says, and shall hiss at all the plagues thereof. That's why we got to come out of the mindset so we don't receive of these plagues that he's going to plague them with. Going back to uh, 
Jeremiah 49, 18. Jeremiah chapter 49, verse 18. Come. As in the overthrow of Sodom and Gomorrah, and the neighbor cities thereof, saith the Most High, No man shall abide there, neither shall a son of man dwell in it. You that? As the overthrow of Sodom and Gomorrah, he burnt those cities down, five cities, man. Where is that at now? We can't see that. This future prophecy. He's letting you know. You know, you want to be burned up with him? That's what he tell you. You want to be burned up with him? Say, I'll melt you. So ain't nobody going to dwell wherever they are. Remember, Isaac just blessed them with what? The fatness of the land, of the world, all over the world. Read. Behold, he shall come up like a lion from the swelling of Jordan against the habitation of the strong. But I will suddenly make him run away from her. And who is a chosen man that I may appoint over her? For who is like me? And who will appoint me the time? And who is that shepherd that will stand before me? He said, man, who going to tell me what time I'm going to do this? So I'm going to do it, though. He said, ain't nobody going to stand before me unless I want him to stand before me. Read. Therefore hear the counsel of the Most High that he had taken against Edom, and his purposes, that he had purpose against the inhabitants of Teman. Surely the least of the flock shall draw them out. Surely he shall make their habitations desolate with them. You see that? He said the least of the flock gonna draw them out. The remnant of the flock gonna draw them out. One third of the Israelites gonna draw them out. Surely he shall make their habitations desolate with them. The habit, the land gonna be desolate, and they gonna be desolate. The same, read. Verse twenty-one: The earth is moved at the noise of their fall. You know that the earth gonna be moved, man, at the noise of their fall, man. Look at uh, Jeremiah fifty and uh, fifty-six. Said the earth will be moved at the noise of bringing them down out of power. That's what he's talking about. Jeremiah chapter 51, verse 56. Jeremiah 51, verse uh, 56. 50, uh, yeah. Hmm? 50 and 46. No, no, no. Um. I said Jeremiah 50 and 46. Jeremiah chapter 50 and verse 46. At the noise of the king of Babylon, the earth is moved. Hear that? At the noise of the king of Babylon. At the noise of the taking. Read it again. At the noise. Oh, sorry. At the noise of the taking of Babylon. At the noise of the taking of Babylon. America. Read. The earth is moved. Earth is going to be moved, man. Read. And the cry is heard among the nations. And the cry will be heard among the nations. Revelation 18 or 9. Revelation chapter 18 and verse 9. And the kings of the earth who have committed fornication and live deliciously with her shall bewail her and lament for her when they shall see the smoke of her burning. Yeah. So then you know the kings, everybody under the kings, gonna be wailing right with them when they sell, cause they don't live deliciously with America. When they see the smoke of her burning, it gave you the analysis of what? Sodom and Gomorrah, them five cities the most high burned up, B. Standing afar off for the fear of her torment. They're gonna stay away from it. Standing afar off for the fear of her torment, B. Saying, alas, alas, the great city Babylon that mighty city. They say, hey, they're going to say, alas, alas, that great city of America, which is Babylon. Read. For in one hour is thy judgment come. For in one hour is thy judgment come. 
So, for all those that say that's ancient Babylon, no, no, no. Get uh, go to Psalms. You get understanding through the precept. Go to Psalms 137. Get Psalms 137. And read verse 7 to 9. Psalms chapter 137, verse 7. Remember, O Most High, the children of Edom in the day of Jerusalem, who said, Raise it, raise it, even to the foundation thereof. Yeah. Remember who? The children of Edom, who said, Raise it, raise it, even to the foundation thereof. You know? What is he talking about? Hold that, 1st Ezra 4 and 45. This is what you're making reference of, read. 1st Ezra chapter 4 and verse 45. Thou also hast vowed to build up the temple which the Edomites burned when Judea was made desolate by the Chaldees. Yeah, we went into captivity under the Babylonians, the Ethiopians, under King Nebuchadnezzar for 70 years. The Edomites burnt down our temples. You know, just what they did. That's why David's prophesying about what they would do. Because had this happened before David was living? No, he's prophesying. This is prophecy. Yeah, he's prophesying what would happen when we were going to captivity under the Babylonians. That's why he said, remember them. Verse 8. So now it said, remember, O Most High, in verse 7 of Psalms 137. I'm, I'm just here to show you that that Babylon that we're reading about in Revelation is talking about them. Because it said, what did it say? Remember, O Most High, in verse 7 of Psalms 137, the children of Edom. In the day of Jerusalem, who said, raise it, raise it, even to the foundation thereof. Who are they? Verse 8. O daughter of Babylon. O daughter of who? Of Babylon. There you go, Babylon right there. They ain't talking about the Chinese, the Japanese, the Arabs, the uh, East Indians, Africans. They're talking about who? The so-called white people. Who are who? Edom. Indigenous, I might say. So it says, O daughter of Babylon. You see? Read. Who ought to be destroyed. That's what we've been reading about. Who ought to be destroyed. That's future. You understand? Because yeah. they're not destroyed, destroyed yet. Yeah. Read. Happy shall he be that rewarded thee as thou hast served us. So he said, the most high going to be happy to serve them as they have served us. Read. Happy shall he be that taketh and dasheth thy little ones against thy stones. Against the stones. That happy shall he be that take it and dash and die little ones against the stone like they did our little ones. They did that to us. As they were burning us to stay. We was watching them bash our little children against the stone. You see that in the book of uh, Destruction of the West Indies by Bartholomew de la Casas. They show, he had pictures in there that they drew and showing our little babies being dashed against the stones in front of our eyes. So it's just, you know, what the most I going to do? They did it, and they'll just pay back. So go back to uh, where you at in uh, Jeremiah 49. Did you finish verse 19? Yeah. Verse 21. The earth is moved at the noise of their fall. See, the earth will be moved at the noise of their fall. Read. At the cry, the noise thereof was heard in the Red Sea. So the, at the cry, the noise will be heard all the way to the Red Sea. That's why you see the merchants crying, right? You're seeing lamenting for America that's going to be burnt up and destroyed. And that noise is going to be strong all the way to the Red Sea. Read. Behold, he shall come up and fly as the eagle. And spread his wings over Basra. Which is the capital city of Edom, read. And at that day shall the heart of the mighty man of Edom be as the heart of a woman in her pain. Yeah. So the man going to be afraid like a woman having a baby. But we know 
regardless, they're going to fight. They prepared to fight. I'll just tell you that in 2nd Ezra 13. You see? They're going to be afraid, but they still going to fight. Even they're going to be like a woman having a baby. Them pigs, those pains, however they are. They say, women say that that's one of some of the worst pains you can have. Yeah. That's what they say. Some of the worst pains you can have. One thing I can compare it to is a toothache. <laughs> that's, pain, ain't that's pain, right? <laughs> that's a real pain, boy. But, uh... <laughs> they said, that ain't nothing. They say, say in a minute. I got no women to have babies. I bet you, kid, is a toothache worse than that? <laughs> Oh, they ain't nothing. <laughs> so I women, man, they, hey, you gotta get some women some credit, man, that yeah. had babies that felt that. Yeah. Most I be saying, hey, hey, go to jail about 30, man. Let's see. It ain't no joke, man. Shoot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, read verse 6. Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 6. Right. Ask ye now and see whether a man does travail with child. Ask ye now, see if a man having a baby, she, he man get ready to have a baby. Read. But wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins as a woman in travail? Hey, she, you know, ain't that what you just said about Esau? Huh. So this is what happened to us. Children of Israel said, Well, I see every man with his, with his hand on his stomach like a, a woman that's getting ready to have a baby with the contractions. Did he get ready to this baby, Read. And all faces are turned into paleness. Yeah, all faces turn into paleness, read. Alas, for that day is great. That day is great on Jacob, on us, read. So that none is like none it. None is like it. If we see any kind of happening in our face right now, read. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble. It's the time of our trouble. But what's guaranteed from what's written? Come on. But he shall be saved out of it. You got to believe that. Have faith in that. We're going to be saved out of it. See? That's all I want. Is that to uh, go back to... Uh, Genesis 27. Yeah. Let's finish this up. Genesis 27, chapter 42. I mean, verse 42. And these words of Esau, her elder son, were told to Rebekah. And she sent and called Jacob, her younger son, and said unto him, Behold, thy brother Esau, as touching thee, doth comfort himself, proposing to kill thee. See? Our former Rebekah came to Jacob and told him, Hey, man, your brother... Is going is plotting to kill you. Read. Now therefore, my son, obey my voice and arise. Flee thou to Laban, my brother, to Haran. So he said, Hey, Jacob, I want you to go to my brother Laban in Haran. Go to him. Go to your uncle. Read. And tarry with him a few days. Until our brother's fury turn away. Stay there a few days until Esau calm down. Read. Until thy brother's anger turn away from thee, and he forget that which thou hast done to him. Then I will send and fetch thee from thence. Why should I be deprived also of you both in one day? You say, hey. So I'm going to send for you once his anger is, you know, abated. So, so why must I... Be deprived of you both in one day. Go ahead. And Rebekah said to Isaac, I am weary of my life because of the daughters of Heth. If Jacob take a wife of the daughters of Heth, such as these which are the daughters of the land, what good shall my life do me? He said, hey, I don't want him to, to marry any of these daughters of Heth. He said, what, what good is my life to me? Go ahead. Genesis chapter 28. And Isaac called Jacob and blessed him, and charged him and said unto him, Thou shalt not take a wife of the daughters of, Ca of Canaan. So he supposed to take these Hamites? No. No. Thou shalt not take a wife of the daughter of Canaan. So you understand? That's why I say you have to listen to your woman. 
share wisdom too. Huh. You gotta make the right decision. Huh. But this is what she said. She said, hey, I don't want my son to marry any of these so-called Africans, these Hamites. Now, Isaac is going to Jacob and telling Jacob exactly what she said. You see? You gotta make the right decision. It's on you. Read. As men, read. Verse 2. Arise, go to Padan Aram, to the house of Bethel, thy mother's father, and take thee a wife from thence, of the daughters of Laban, thy mother's brother. So, that would be his what? Cousins. That would be Jacob's what? Cousins. Cousins, right. They take a wife of Laban, thy mother's brother. Go ahead. And Who the are they? Ooh. What nation? People. Laban. Oh, the and Rebecca. Huh. What oh, nation? Syrian. Huh? Syrian. Syrian. Huh. Right. They from Syria. They Syrians. Read. Uh, verse 3. And the Most High Almighty bless thee and make thee fruitful and multiply thee that thou mayest be a multitude of people and give thee the blessing of Abraham to thee and to thy seed with thee that thou mayest inherit the land wherein thou art a stranger which the Most High gave unto Abraham. Yeah, you may have heard the land of Israel. And may you inherit the blessing of Abraham. Go ahead. And Isaac sent away Jacob, and he went to Padan Aram unto Laban, son of Bethel, the Syrian, the brother of Rebekah, Jacob's and Esau's mother. Right. So he left and went to Laban the Syrian, the brother of our former mother Rebekah. Go ahead. Verse 6. When Esau saw that Isaac had blessed Jacob and sent him away to Badan Aram to take him away from thence, and that as he blessed him, he gave him a charge, saying, Thou shalt not take a wife from the daughters of Cain. So Esau knew that Jacob was not supposed to take of a wife of the daughters of Canaan. You see? No so called African. No Hamite. Cool. Read. He knew this, read. Oh. And that and that Jacob obeyed his father and his mother and was gone to Padan Aram. So Jacob obeyed his father and his mother. Remember, honor thy father and thy mother. That's the first commandment of promise. Listen, go ahead. And Esau, seeing that the daughters of Canaan pleased not... Oh. Go ahead. And Esau, seeing that the daughters of Canaan pleased not Isaac, his father. Then went Esau unto Ishmael, and took unto the wives which he had Mahalah, the daughter of Ishmael, Abraham's son, the sister of Nebajah, to be his wife. All right, so Esau took of a wife of Ishmael. Now, is they trying to say that the woman determines the seed now? Oh. For the Arabs to be <laughs> Esau? Right. Come on now, you know, that's what the Jewish people say, right? Huh. Who's your mother? Huh. Right? They, they think that the seed comes from the mother. Whoever you are is from, from your mom. So is this is the only way I can see it. I mean, I'm trying to figure it out, you know what I mean? But I haven't figured it out because there's too many scriptures I can go to to show you the characteristics of Esau to prove that he is who he is. Huh. He ain't no Arab. But I mean, it says the first woman that he took was Ishmael. And the man's genealogy comes from who? The man. The man. See. You sure it don't come from the woman? I'm positive. I'm positive. That's right. The DNA comes from who? The man. The man. Come. <laughs> it's that simple, though. I mean, is it? Is it? Who carries the baby? Who carries the baby? The woman carries. The woman carries the baby, right? Huh. But where did the baby come from? The man. See. The man, right? Mm -hmm. Look at uh, Psalms four, seventeen and fourteen. Psalms chapter 17 and verse 14. Come. From men which are thy hands. So men which are thy hands are the most high. Read. 
from men of the world. From men of the world, read. Which have their portion in this life. Which have their portion in this life. Talking about men, read. Not women, but men, read. And whose belly thou fillest with thy hid treasure. So the Most High fills a man's belly with what? Hid treasure. With hid treasures. What are they full of? They are full of children. They are full of what? Children. How's a man's stomach full of children? Hmm. He say they fill a man's belly. They are full of what? Children. Children. So without the man, there is no what? Children. Children. <laughs> is his seed from the beginning his right. seed uh, right everything is his seed uh, you got you got male trees you got female trees uh, everything is his seed you ain't seen no, no female lion getting pregnant without male lion uh, turtles <laughs> birds everything right uh, after his C after the male. So your your makeup is through your daddy. Oh uh, let's uh, scripture in Chronicles. But uh, go back to uh, where we are. So we can go through Genesis first chapter. It just tell you it's his seed over and over again. Well, let's let's continue reading this. We just about finished with Genesis. Genesis chapter verse 9, I think the last verse. Oh. Genesis chapter 28, verse 9. Then went Esau to Ishmael and took unto the wives which he had, Mahalah, the daughter of Ishmael, Abraham's son, the sister of Nabajah, to be his wife. Right, so that's what Esau did. Now let's get Malachi the first chapter. Huh? What's that? You go read. Okay. Come. Malachi 1 and 1. The book of Malachi chapter 1 verse 1. The burden of the word of the Most High to Israel by Malachi. Right. So this is a word of the Most High through Malachi the prophet. Read. I have loved you, saith the Most High. So Most High said, hey, I love you. Go ahead. Yet ye say, wherein hast thou loved us? So we say, wherein have you loved us? Read. 